record this. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday wherever you are. My name is Kate Moyer, and I am with IamKateMoyer.com and the Mom Boss Mentor. So it's been a little hot minute. It's been a crazy February of being on the road, which really always tests my ability to balance. But I have to say, it's always about flexibility, but um, flexible, not optional, right? Um, if you've heard that phrase before, you can go ahead and comment, flexible, not optional, okay? Um, and tell me where you're from and where you're watching from. But a little bit about me, in case you don't know, I have five businesses that I run seamlessly and I work about six and a half to eight hours a day. Um, I love to be able to work when it works for my family. Not, um, again, not optional. I work every day, but I am flexible about it. So I may work some evenings. I may work some early mornings. I may work a little bit here, a little bit there, but I get the work done, okay? And I'm gonna share five tips today on how you can maximize your time so you can level up in your businesses. So if you work currently nine to five, that's how I built my first business into a team of almost 300. Um, I was being able to get to the top of the compensation plan, top 1% in the company, all by working those five minute pockets throughout my day. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes on my coffee break, lunch break, five minutes on my other coffee break, a couple minutes before I'd leave the parking lot, you know, and then a little bit later at night when the kids went to bed. So it's all about capitalizing those moments. But aside from that, which is my key to success for sure, because if you have a reason you are going to show up for your business, okay? I always like to say flexible, not optional, but these are my top five tips. So the first one is something I've just started really leveraging, something I've dabbled in before, but never to the level that I am now. Trading product for services, okay? Whether it's they wanna shop on your website, and you go ahead and order it for them and they're doing something for you, you know, the best part about it is you are usually getting a discount or making commission off their sale. So it's costing you less to trade for a service that saves you time. So for me, I hate cleaning my house. Okay. What would you trade your time for? Because me, I hate cleaning my house, but I have this new person who would love some product. So she's willing to trade to clean my house in trade for a product. Okay, isn't that awesome? Okay, another person, she does my hair, we trade for product. You know, somebody else, they wanted um, some product, I wanted some clothes, we traded product for clothes. So if there's a time element to it, you know, my neighbor, she wanted something, so we traded something for her to do something for me, okay? So she's helping me with happy mail, she's helping me with some birthdays things, and in lieu of, she's getting something in return. Again, trade, okay? Back to the olden days where you traded or bartered services or product for product, exactly the same thing. So I love to trade product for services that save me time, okay? Because that is, time is a dollar value to me, and it's something that I can do. The second way, is duplication, duplicating every single thing that you do. If you post on Facebook, it better be on Instagram. If you do a TikTok reel, it better be on Facebook and it better be on Instagram. If you go live, are you multi-purposing it and throwing it on YouTube? Because that's what I'm doing right now, right? Maximizing your time to have it show up as many places as possible. Okay, that is another way that you can then duplicate, throw it into your email, do a newsletter on it. You could throw it up on a website, whatever it is, wherever you are in social media, you want to duplicate, 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 duplicate as much as possible. Story, post, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Okay. The third is to set up automatic messaging. So I love auto replies. I love um, having people get to a sign-up sheet um, where I get to collect their information and now they're in my email list. I want as much as possible things to be done without me having to do it. So project broadcasts I use or shout out or Visly or post my party or since share or um, Canva can even schedule onto your Facebook or social media. Anything that you can do to automate your messages or automate your posting or automate yourself is saving you time, okay? So I was doing a contest. People text me the word spa. It automatically up to them into a campaign. 
They then got to text another word. It automatically sent them the reply. And then once they did it, all they had to do was reply back, done, guess what? I was able to get 50 people, 50 people to do something for me without me having to personally message and, and, and do it all manually, okay? That is duplication. You now, something that I love, so other people, they do not love it. I do not duplicate or automate my personal responses because I do think that relationship is the heart of the business. But if it's something that can be automated that they don't need to talk to me personally, I think it's, an, uh, it's a great time saver, okay? Um, so definitely worth $15 for my month. Okay, the fourth is link and bio. So <clears throat> a lot of times in post. I just did three vendor events. Um, that was awesome, but a lot of people did not put their link in their post and they did not say link in bio. They did not say link in album. They did not tell me where to go to shop. I am a lazy shopper. Most people are a lazy shopper. They need it to be as convenient as possible that I can literally right there, see something and buy it. I do not want to have to hunt for it because if I have to hunt for your link, guess what? I am not going to buy because I will move on to the next post or I will move on to the next shiny object, okay? So it has to be super easy for people. And sometimes Facebook or other methods can be very sticky about links in posts. They don't really want people to go off the website. So that's why link in bio is really awesome because then they can just go to click your name and there's the link right there, okay? So really be very clear and conscious about how easy is it for someone to shop with you. You know, ask a few friends, hey, can you give me an audit of my Facebook group or of my post lately? Is it easy to shop or is there something I could do better? Okay, constructive criticism is always a good thing because your friends will tell you, you know what? It was really complicated. I would way rather if you just said, hey, Kate, here's my order, and Kate just went ahead and did it for you, okay? So as much as you can make it easier for people to shop, the better it is. So I have customers who will say, hey, can you order me this? Absolutely. I've got their information in the system, ready to go, and just do, do, done, okay? Where other people, they want to do it on their own, so we just need to make it really easy for them to do it. Okay, so that is something that I really think is important. And number five, getting specific on your focus. If you only have 30 minutes a day to work your business, it better be super, super laser focused. If you, right now, your focus for the next seven days of the month is to get sales, it better be laser focused on sales. How much sales do you want each day? How are you going to get that amount of sales? So here's a great example. There are seven days left of the month. Say your goal is $700. Okay, it just makes my math really easy. $700 more. Okay, that's $100 a day. You could sell five items at $20. It's not really effective use of your time. Or you could sell one order of $100. Okay, how much easier would it be to get laser focused on one $100 order? Way faster and way easier and way less work than five $20 orders. So again, maximizing your time, getting laser focused. Okay, today I just need to get one order. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to get laser focused. What am I going to focus on today to share with my network? What solution am I going to share? Who could use that solution? Who am I going to follow up with about that that we've been talking about in the past? Okay, can you see this as an option? I hope you can. If your focus for the next seven days is sponsoring, okay, you got seven days. How many people you want to recruit? One? Cool. Okay. You're going to need to ask at least two people a day, two people a day. You're going to get a recruit by the end of the week. If you get laser focused and are being very specific about what's in it for them, it's not, Hey, would you join my team? Because I have a goal. I'm not going to join your team because it's for you. I'm going to join a team because it's for me. Right. Hey, you know what? I saw your post about if you're needing money or about recently becoming single or needing to save up for a house or, you know, wanting to go on vacation, but need to make extra money. I would love to share something with you. Do you have two minutes? Cool. I'm going to send you a video about what I do. And I would love to connect with you. When do you have a time to take a look at the video? Okay. That's something typical right out of Eric Worre or Justin Prince. Now, another option would be, Hey, you know, you keep shopping with me every single month. Have you ever thought about giving yourself a discount? I would love to connect with you and talk about how you can 
not only save money, but make money every single month with our company. Okay, that's just another place of coming from a service from a customer that's already shopping with you and upgrading them to the opportunity. So again, getting laser focused, that would be your non-negotiable every single day that you're going to share the opportunity with at least two people for seven days to get a recruit by the end of the month, okay? So again, you would do that before you would focus on sales, before you would go and scroll through Facebook, before you turn on Netflix at the end of the day. You know, you are going to work your business by getting laser focus, okay? So those are my five top tips. I would love to know which one you're gonna try this week. Go ahead and put in the comments. If it was helpful for you and you think your team would love it, go ahead and share this with them. Or you can follow me on YouTube at I am Um, But I would like to give you one extra bonus one. And that is just really looking at your day, okay? Writing down what you do in a day. And can you sneak in five minutes here? Could you sneak in another five minutes there? Okay, really getting clear about your time because I can promise you, I am a squirrel, like I'm a squirrel. <laughs> I'll just be so, oh, squirrel over here and oh, squirrel over there and squirrel over here. And then all of a sudden an hour went by and I've said no, no to my family to do something because I'm working but I'm really just being a squirrel. And that's stealing time from my family, that's stealing time from my life, okay? So I wanna be close and very specific when I'm working on my business because I wanna be in my business and they want to make um, mountains, right? I wanna make movement and they wanna have success and rolling, okay? So getting very specific um, helps so that when you try on your computer, I know what I'm doing. When I turn on my phone, I know what I'm focused on. And when I'm working, I'm working. I'm not just consuming. I am producing. Okay. I hope that was helpful for you. Have an amazing day. And I will see you next Monday with another mom boss tip. If you're not on my newsletter, go ahead and subscribe now at imkmore.com. Have a good one.